Hi, today we're making a roast vegetable risotto. I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees and I've got my dish in now, which I'm going to roast the vegetables in. I'm gonna put some oil in it to get the oil nice and hot. And that can be getting nice and hot ready for my vegetables after I've prepped them up. I've got a courgette here. The vegetables you want to dice up, probably it's about a half an inch. Depending on your time, you can cut them a bit smaller if you've got like less time to, to cook them. I've pre-washed all the vegetables. We've got courgette, we've got red pepper which I've taken the seeds out and taken the stalk off. And we've got some plum and cherry tomatoes mixed in together. I'm going to put in some salt and pepper into that. And some mixed herbs. Give that a good stir and a good coating. Whoops, it's tasty. Runaway tomato. And let's get those in the oven. The vegetables are cooking nicely. They've been in the oven about 10 minutes. So now I'm going to start to prep my risotto. pan on and heat up some oil and we're going to cut up our onion into small dice Crush our garlic into the onions. If you haven't got a crush, you can chop the onions up small. And give that a good stir. While those are cooking, I'm just going to get my vegetables out and give them a stir. Just be careful not to burn your hands. And they're coming along nicely.
going to add our rice to the onions and garlic. Give them a good stir. Turn those down a bit. And add our vinegar to that. And our tomato passata. Just give that a good stir in and just make sure you coat all the risotto rice, otherwise bits are going to stick together. And while that's heating up, I'm just going to make up my stock. Got a couple of veg stock cubes here, two a jug, and about 250 ml of water, boiling water from the kettle. And just give that stirring, just to make sure they're fully dissolved. and then just add the stock a little bit at a time. Until all the stock's incorporated. The trick with a risotto is to don't stop stirring, just keep stirring and just cook it slowly and the rice will come out just perfect. I've been stirring this for about 20 minutes now, off the camera, and it's pretty much ready to add my roasted vegetables. And if it needs it, just add a bit more salt and pepper. And it's pretty much ready to serve. Just gonna serve up a dish here. There you go, roast vegetable risotto.